All right, if you're driving a car that has a CVT transmission, of course that's continuous variable transmission, and you want to know why it makes that humming or whining sound when you're going down the hill, I'll explain to you what it is. So a lot of people think that that uh, doesn't sound right because they're used to driving a, what you'd call a traditional transmission vehicle, but a lot of cars made in the last 14 years, 15 years, have the CVT transmission, which is not, which is not, you know, the, the traditional. So CVTs are run by belts and pulleys in, in a chain, and the whole purpose of it is to get better fuel efficiency. Well, when you're driving down a hill with, say, within a traditional, with, if you're driving down the hill with a traditional transmission, what it's doing is it's um, it's going into uh, it's going into the last gear. So the last gear, uh, you're basically using your brakes a lot more. So it seems like that you're using the gravity of your car, which you are, but you're just primarily using the brakes. With a CVT transmission, it's actually using the brakes, but it's also using the engine brake. So the, the engine in combination with the transmission with a CVT um, basically primarily uses as a brake. So that's why it makes the whistling and humming is because it's trying to make it's trying to make a an adjustment um, to get the most fuel efficiency going down the hill. So no, there's nothing wrong with your CVT transmission, and I'll show you here in a second. I'll go down a hill why it makes a, a, a strange noise. And it seems like it's working harder when it actually isn't working harder. It's just doing what it's supposed to do. So if you have one of these, and a lot of Nissans, Toyotas now have them, Kias have them, a lot of vehicles have the CVT transmission. Um, and and so if you're if you're from like a lower altitude area, let's say like Florida or Louisiana, you're not used to going up and down a hill so much. But if you come to a place like Virginia, let's say, in the, in the Appalachians or Kentucky or West Virginia or the mountains of the West, you, you, you're used to it. But if you've, if you've lived in a low altitude population where you're not actually going down hills and stuff, then you're just completely just not used to it at all. So that's if, if you've just moved or you're going on vacation, you're like, why is it not sounding right? Well, it's doing what it's supposed to do. All right, so let's go go down the hill and listen. So I got my foot off the brake. And here we go. I don't know how well you can hear, but I'm hearing like a light a light whistling noise and, and the humming as I'm going in there. And that was a very steep hill. But if you go down a hill that's not as steep, you want to you want to see it more and you want to feel it more. It's almost like the engine is working harder and the transmission is working harder, but it's doing its job. All right, thank you so much for watching and make sure you subscribe.